It's been the shortest and arguably one of the most intense campaign periods in Korea's election history. For a rundown of where the main candidates will wrap things up today, on the eve of the big election, we turn to our Oh Soo Young. Korea's presidential candidates have just one day left to try and win over undecided voters. As part of his itinerary on Monday, Liberal frontrunner Moon Jae-in of the Democratic Party of Korea will head to Gwangamun Square in downtown Seoul, the place where millions of Korean citizens rallied, demanding the resignation and impeachment of former President Park Geun-hye. Moon will show his determination to become a president who communicates with the people and embodies the spirit of Gwangamun Square, as promised in his campaign. Later in the day, Moon will hold the finale of his campaign in the populist district of Gangnam. Conservative candidate Hong Junpyo plans to wrap up his campaign in Hongdae, a trendy university district in western Seoul. As he makes his way up from the southernmost city of Busan and through the central cities of Daegu and Daejeon, he'll be calling on voters to prevent a leftist takeover of the government. Meanwhile, centrist candidate Antosu's final day of campaigning will end in the city of Daejeon. Daejeon is where the People's Party was established, and also where Ahn was confirmed as a candidate in the race. So it signifies his determined spirit and the unity of the people. Daejeon is also the hub of science and technology, so it shows Ahn's commitment to preparing Korea for the fourth industrial revolution. The conservative Palun Party's Yoo Seung-min plans to hit Seoul shopping district of Myeongdong on Monday. Myeongdong is in the center of Seoul. It's like the heart of the nation. So campaigning there would show Yu's aspiration to lead the Korean people into a miraculous future. Shim Sang-dong of the Progressive Justice Party will also convey a message of new hope for Korea. Shim will send out her message that the Justice Party's policy and vision, encompassing the voice of the Korean people, can generate hope for the nation and its future. Her last campaign will be held in Shinchon, a town in Seoul that's crowded with young people. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.